friends thank you for joining together we are looking at hope um and just encouraging our hearts and today i want to talk about remaining steadfast in the lord remaining steadfast in the hope of god i want to read from 1 peter chapter 5 and verse 9 it says resist him steadfast in the faith knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world so we are called to remain steadfast in the faith resisting what the enemy is bringing into our lives and this week we've been talking about overcoming discouragement disappointment failure and uh, negative emotions because of the things that we've been through god is not the source of darkness jesus said i am the light of the world our god is a god of all hope he wants to bring us abundant life he has plans of prosperity hope and a good future for us and so we must resist what the enemy is doing because it is he who wants to bring destruction and death into our lives resist the devil and remain steadfast in the faith let me read one more passage for us 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 58 it says therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast immovable always abounding in the work of the lord knowing that your labor is not in vain in the lord remain steadfast immovable and always abounding in what god has called you to do and just because we um we hit a roadblock in our journey that must not cause us to quit we are not the ones who must throw in the towel and say i quit my journey because of this setback instead we have to stand our ground and we've already seen that we must remain steadfast in the faith so how can we stand strong in god in difficult times we need faith without faith it is impossible to please god so to get faith we can look at the word of god we can fill ourselves with what the word has to say about our victory the word has to say about our healing the word has to say about the future uh, that that god has blessed and even as we do that fill ourselves with the word of god faith will arise once again and through faith we can remain steadfast immovable abounding in the work of god So let's not quit friends but let's keep standing and let's overcome every difficulty that we are facing today let's pray together Heavenly Father the grace to stand comes through you through your word and Lord I pray that the difficulty that each one of us is facing today God that Lord we will be overcomers in those circumstances God give us the strength to stand steadfast against the enemy oh god and lord even as we do that we thank you because you are leading us to victory we give you the praise in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org